So in this lecture, we are going to discuss the contractile mechanisms in smooth muscles. We have already discussed the structure and function, uh, functions and the molecular mechanisms of the skeletal muscles. And uh, we have started discussing the types of smooth muscles. And now we are going to discuss in detail the skeletal and uh, the smooth muscles. But we have to compare the uh, mechanism of contraction of the skeletal muscles with that of the smooth muscles. There are a few uh, similarities between the uh, structure and mechanism of the uh, skeletal uh, smooth and skeletal muscles. First of all, the actin and myosin filaments that are present in the skeletal muscles, they are also present in the uh, smooth muscles. Each actin filament, each myosin filament is surrounded by a lot of actin filaments in the uh, skeletal muscles. Similarly, uh, a myosin filament is surrounded by a lot of actin filaments in the uh, smooth muscles. Sim um, similarly, the the cross bridges between the actin and the myosin uh, filament they get uh, started or they get um, and they get attached and deattached and they interact with each other when calcium enters and ATP is broken down and energy is released. Similarly, this the the cross bridges of the myosin and actin filament they start interacting with each other when the calcium is released and the cross bridges interact only with the release of calcium and the breakdown of the ATP and release of energy. But there are, uh, there are a few differences between the skeletal and smooth muscles as well. First of all, they have the uh, physical appearance difference, then the cycling difference, the energy requirement difference, the contraction and relaxation difference, and the force of contraction difference. So, first of all, we are going to discuss the difference in their physical appearance. The, in the skeletal muscles, we have a lot of um, myosin filaments. They are surrounded by the actin filaments and the actin filament, actin and myosin filaments, they interact uh, with each other with the help of the cross bridges and the actin filaments move between two Z lines. The Z lines, the distance between the two Z lines is known as the sarcomere. When the, the heads of the cross bridges of the myosin filaments, they move, the Z lines move as well and the distance between the, sar the sarcomere decreases and the contraction occurs. But here the arrangement of the actin and myosin is slightly different. A myosin is surrounded by the actin filaments but these actin filaments are not around the uh, starting or arising from the Z lines. Instead they are, uh, they are arising or radiating from a protein known as the uh, dense bodies. The dense bodies they are basically present in the smooth muscles. This is smooth muscles. So it has a lot of smooth muscle uh, dense bodies present inside the uh, present inside the cytoplasm as well as in the membrane. Similarly, some of the dense bodies of the smooth muscles they help in the union of the different smooth muscles, so that one uh, one cell so one cell the dense bodies are basically present in the cells of the smooth muscles. So they help in the union of the and the transfer of the contraction. Of, uh, of power of contraction from one cell to another. When one cell contract, it helps with the help of these dense bodies which is present between the two cells to in the contraction of another. One contracts and the other cells also, the other cell also contracts. The other difference between the structure of skeletal and smooth muscle is the, 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 present, the cross bridges, the arrangement of the cross bridges. The cross bridges of the skeletal muscles, they are all present in one direction. For example, in this one direction and they interact here with the actin filament. Cross bridges of the myosin are present in the one direction. But the, here the cross bridges of the myosin of the smooth muscles, they may be present in opposite direction. One cross bridge Cross bridges of the one side will move the actin filament in one direction while cross bridges of the myosin filament here you can see these are the cross bridges which interact 
they may interact in the opposite direction and they may move the actin of on both the sides in the opposite direction that is pretty much helpful in the contraction process and more contraction of the smooth muscles so there is difference of the arrangement of the actin filaments then there is difference of the arrangement of the cross bridges and then finally there is lack of striation lack of striation between the um, smooth muscle uh, the skeletal muscle has light and dark band due to the special arrangement of the actin and myosin filament within the myofibrils which we have discussed in detail in the last lectures but there is no striation in the skeletal the smooth muscles that that's why they are known as smooth because they lack striation they have no dark and light bands then after the physical difference the difference between their appearance under a microscope then we have the cycling difference cycling difference occurs when the contraction process starts when the contraction process starts the heads of the the heads of the cross bridges they basically attach with the actin filaments they move the actin filaments and then deattach and then reattach attach re uh, attach detach and then reattach attach detach and then reattach that's why the cycle that's the cycling and it this cycle this cycling is very rapidly and the movement of the actin from both the sides is very rapid and the contraction process is a bit rapid but this cycling this attachment of the cross bridge the head of the cross bridge with the actin in the smooth muscles is very slow once the uh, the attachment of the head of the cross bridge with the actin filament occurs in the skeletal muscle it deattach very quickly but here in the smooth muscle once it gets attached it remains attached for a long time so that's the difference between the cycling the cycling of attaching deattaching attaching deattaching that's a bit lengthy that's a bit different uh, di uh, different in both the skeletal and smooth muscles so the cycling is slow slow in the smooth muscle and rapid in the skeletal muscle the cycling is occurring uh, quickly and uh, the cycling is occur occurring slowly and once the attachment occurs it it the attachment lasts for small amount of time while in the smooth muscle the attachment the attachment of the cross bridge with the actin filament the attachment of the cross bridge with the actin filament that lasts for a bit longer time then the energy requirement difference skeletal muscles the, the there here we have the atps this head of the myosin head of the cross bridge of the myosin filament in the skeletal muscles it breaks it uses a lot of atp and it uses a lot of energy but in the smooth muscles here the cross bridges the heads of the cross bridges in the smooth muscle it uses less atp just one atp is sufficient for one cycle and that's very helpful because a lot of viscera like uh, ureter and bladder they are in constant phase of contraction they uh, maintain some tone tone is due to basically a slight contraction and that is throughout present so if a lot of energy was required for this maintenance of the tone then the smooth muscles the viscera in the human body which are not helping us in the movement and daily activities that much although they are important then they would need a lot of energy a lot of energy would be directed towards them so the energy requirement in the smooth muscles is less and smooth muscles are present in the viscera they are present in the ureter in the bladders in the gall bladder so the energy requirement is less and that's helpful because the tonic the tone which is present in those viscera needs less energy then the contraction and relaxation difference when the cross bridges attach the head of the cross bridge in the skeletal muscle attach with the actin filament the muscle starts 
contracting quickly here in smooth muscle the attachment occurs very slowly then attachment last very for a long time and finally once the contraction of the smooth muscle has started it starts after a delay it starts after a delay here once the attachment has occurred between the cross bridges of the act the myosin and the actin the contraction of the muscle occur very quickly it starts very quickly and it's relaxed very quickly but in the smooth muscle the contraction process occurs very slowly and it gets relaxed very slowly and it's because of the difference between the energy requirement and it's because of the slow cycling and the prolonged period of time that is required uh, for the attachment and deattachment of the heads of the cross bridge bridges in the smooth muscles then the finally uh, the force of contraction difference the force of contraction in smooth muscle is very high once the smooth muscle has contracted then the amount of generate energy it generates per kg it is up to 4 to 6 4 to 6 kg per centimeter square while in skeletal muscles it's from 3 to 4 kg per centimeter square so the energy generated by the skeletal muscle per kg per centimeter square is less small in amount while the the power the force of contraction generated by the smooth muscle is high here the attachment occurs slowly the cycles the cycling is slow once the attachment occurs then the attachment occurs after a long time and once the attachment process has started the muscle starts to contract slowly but finally the force of contraction is very much high per kg area as compared to the skeletal muscles so that's all about the contractile mechanism the similarities and the differences between the skeletal and smooth muscles to summarize the the similarities between the skeletal and smooth muscles are both contain actin and myosin filaments both need calcium to start contraction and both has this contraction process in which the actin and myosin cross bridges interact with each other but the differences are that the smooth muscle leg striation and the smooth muscle uh, the actin starts from dense bodies instead of z uh, z lines and the another other difference is the side polar mechanism of the uh, the the arrangement of the cross bridges of the myosin filaments then this there uh, there is the finally there uh, are some differences one is the cycling difference the cycling process is very slow in smooth muscles but it's fast in skeletal muscles the energy requirement is very less small amount of atp and energy is needed in skeletal muscles smooth muscle sorry and it's a high amount of atp and energy is needed in skeletal muscles then the contraction process once the attachment has occurred the muscles start contracting very quickly and it gets relaxed very quickly but in smooth muscles the contraction process starts slowly and it lasts for a long time and then finally the force that has been created by the contractile mechanism is high in smooth muscles and it is less in the skeletal muscles hope you have understood this topic thanks a lot for watching the video